Hi, I am Matt Tavares. I am the author and illustrator of a bunch of different books. I have a couple of my books over here. Um, my newest one is called A Ben of All Trades, um, which is a book I illustrated. Michael J. Rosen is the author. And then there's Dasher over there. That's one that I wrote and illustrated. I've also done, um, I've done some baseball books. I've got a few of these baseball biographies. Growing Up Pedro, about Pedro Martinez. There's There Goes Ted Williams, about the great Red Sox hitter Ted Williams, um, Henry Aaron's Dream, and then I did this one, and this is the one I'm going to talk about a little bit today, uh, Becoming Babe Ruth. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about research. Um, now, when I make a nonfiction book, um, a biography like these, or any nonfiction book, I need to make sure that everything in my book is true. I can't just make stuff up. So I have to do a lot of research, and that's where I need to uh, I need to read books about my subject. I find some information online. Um, I go to the library. So when I was working on becoming Babe Ruth, I, I wanted to learn everything I could about Babe Ruth. Uh, so I read a bunch of books about him. I still have some of the books. Um, you can see here, um, I've got Babe Ruth, The Legend Comes to Life by Robert Kramer. I've got The Life That Ruth Built. I've got... Uh, the Big Bam, that might be my favorite one by Lee Montville. Um, I read a bunch of books about Babe Ruth. I learned that when Babe Ruth was a kid, he used to get into a lot of trouble. Um, and when he was seven years old, his parents decided that he was, he was just getting in so much trouble, they decided to send him away to a special school, uh, a reform school, this place called St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys. And this is a place that is supposed to teach you how to behave. Probably not a place you'd want to go. Uh, don't worry, it's not there anymore. Um, so in my book, I decided um, I wanted to start my story with Babe Ruth as a kid and, um, and just tell his story from how he went, how he went from being this, uh, this troubled kid to being this great baseball player. So I wanted to include that scene where he first arrived at St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys. So I read all these books. And in these books, it said that outside of St. Mary's, there was a large iron gate. So as I wrote my story, I mentioned this gate several times. It, it became very important in the story. It was sort of a symbol where um, for, for most of his childhood, Babe Ruth was inside at this school. He was, he was sort of locked inside uh, this large iron gate. And then when he went out into the world and became a baseball player, he was outside the gate for the first time. Um, so I mentioned this gate several times in my story. Now, when I went to make the pictures, um, I wanted to show that moment where he went inside through the gate for the first time. I searched everywhere to try to find a picture of the gate, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find any pictures of it. Uh, but I had all these books where, you know, it said that uh, there's a large iron gate, um, so I knew that was probably what it was, and, and I figured I could just make it up. So uh, I'm going to show you, um, when I make the pictures for my books, before I, before I make the real picture that's going to go in the book, I make something called a sketch. And that's sort of my practice picture. Um, so I'm going to show you the sketch for that page. There it is. So this is George. Uh, that's, that's Babe Ruth's real name. He wasn't called Babe back then. Um, his name is George. He's walking in through the gate with a couple of the teachers from that school. His dad is walking away. It's kind of a sad scene. Um, now to make this sketch, like I said, I couldn't find any pictures of the gate. So I just made it up. I figured I know what a large iron gate looks like. I had all these books that said that's what the gate was. Um, so I figured I could make it up. So I sent this sketch along with my other sketches to my editor. Um, when I do work for a book, I show it to my editor, and then I'll hear back from her, and she'll have ideas for things I could do to make my sketches better, to make my story better. Um, for this one, my editor liked it. She said, looks great. I was all set to start my real picture, but it was still bugging me that I couldn't find, I, I hadn't found any pictures of what this gate really looked like. Now, sometimes when I'm working on a book, I will ask for help from someone who knows more than I do about my subject. Um, so in this case, I got in touch with somebody who works at a Babe Ruth museum, like the house where Babe Ruth was born in Baltimore, Maryland, is now a, a museum. So I got in touch with someone at the museum. I explained to them the situation. I said, I'm, I'm making this book about Babe Ruth. 
trying to figure out what um, what this what the gate looked like when he was admitted uh, when he first arrived at St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys. So finally, I got an email back from this person, and they had found a picture for me of what the gate really looked like when Babe Ruth arrived at St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys. And this is the picture that they sent me. Look at that. That is not a large iron gate, is it? That is a, a tiny little wooden gate, um, probably, you know, yay high. Uh, I think uh, George could have easily jumped over it if he felt like it. There wasn't even a big, there wasn't even a fence. I pictured this big wall like he was trapped inside, but there's just like this little row of shrubs. Um, so when I first saw this picture, I couldn't believe it. At first I was kind of annoyed because it really messed up my story. You know, this this gate was really important in my story. Um, so I had to go back and change my story. I had to change my sketch. Um, but then it was also kind of exciting because here was this little detail about Babe Ruth's life that was actually wrong in all these books I had read um, that I had stumbled upon only because I was, I was trying to draw a picture of this gate. Um, and sometimes when stuff like this happens when I'm researching, every now and then this happens where I stumble upon something that I realize, you know, nobody else has found this before. Like somehow this got lost in history and, and, I'm, and I'm uncovering it. Um, and it feels like sort of, sort of like detective work at this point where, you know, where I'm digging through history and I'm trying to figure out what really happened. And every now and then you, you, you come across something like this. Uh, and I was excited because then I could use that in my book. So I still included this moment in the book because it was a big deal, um, a big moment in Babe Ruth's life when he uh, when he went away to this school. But I showed it the way that it really looked uh, in in real life. Uh, instead of showing the big the large iron gate, I showed the the way the gate really looked. Um, another thing I can do when I'm researching is I can even go back. I knew what day he arrived at that school. So I can look in old newspapers and figure out what the weather was like that day. And it was actually kind of a rainy, dreary day. Um, so it was, it was actually, it was kind of perfect for this sort of ominous moment. Just to tell you a little bit about, um, about this story, if you haven't read Becoming Babe Ruth, this was not a very happy day for George. He did not want to go to the school, but it actually turned out to be a, uh, a, a good thing for him. Um, he actually liked going to the school. He made a bunch of friends. And he had a teacher who was a great baseball player. Um, and he taught George how to play baseball. And he got to play baseball pretty much every day. So that's, that's really how he became this great baseball player. All right, so that's my story from Becoming Babe Ruth. Uh, research is one of the things I love about making nonfiction books. It's, uh, it's always kind of an adventure. Sometimes I run into some surprises, but, uh, but I guess that's what makes it fun. Thank you.